information we will make uh, from 40 volt AC 40 volt AC as an input signal and we will make around uh, 5 volt DC as output signal so we will convert from 40 volt AC to 5 volt DC so how do you make so first of all we have to generate the 40 volt so we need to generate so usually what happens whenever we uh, we are accessible in India we are accessible to 240 220 240 volts AC uh, which is given to household uh, connections so we are accessible to 240 and we will use one of the adapter kind of things and we will convert it into 40 volts AC so for example now you are accessible to 40 volt AC that 40 volts we will convert it into 5 volt DC in this particular circuit so we need a generator here so we do not have any extra, uh, external external connections so we have to in, in the simulation circuits we have to generate a 40 volt so we have a generator mode option here so you can see this particular uh, sine wave kind of mode that is called a generator mode so click on the generator mode so when you click on the generator mode we have a different kind of signal options here so you can see dc you can see sine signals you can see pulse signals, exponential signals, so like that. We have uh, so many types of signals here. So we need to choose the sinusoidal waves here. Click on the sine waves and click inside. So whenever I click inside, I'll get a one connector here. I'll zoom in properly. So I'll connector, I'll keep it here. So this is the AC connector. So double click on the AC connector. So you can see the properties of the particular AC connector. So in this property, we have a voltage option here. Voltage in terms of amplitude, we have to mention. Frequency in terms of timing, we have to mention. Delay, if required, we will have to add. So here, I'll just have to create. If you want to create, you can create a 240 volts. So currently, I'm going to create here is just a 40 volt AC as an input. 40 volt just I'll give 40 volt and the frequency in Indian standard is 50 to 60 hertz I'll give around 50 hertz as a uh, frequency standard so this enough I'll click ok so how we will see the waveforms of this particular connector so I'll go to the instrument mode here you can see the bottom side we have an instruments mode where we can get oscilloscope so when I click on this instrument mode oscilloscope there are so many options are available so i'll click on the oscilloscope just to see the waveforms here so place it here so we have a four channel here a b and c d so i'll connect uh, this generated input to channel a so whenever i connect it to channel a the net is automatically changed to a so we will run here in the bottom side we have a run button so click on this run button as soon as you click on it run button the new pop-up will open where we'll see a yellow color waveform sine waveform so we have many options here to adjust the waveform waveform size you can use this probe and uh, we have a position roller and uh, this is horizontal vertical position roller and this is a horizontal position roller always make sure that these two be set to zero so that we can see our signal at the exactly center on the screen oscilloscope, oscilloscope if double click on this it will set to zero it will set to zero and vertical so double click you set it to zero so i'll double click on this vertical it is set to zero so come inside here double click double click so we can see the waveforms here the reference line along with the waveform so this starts with a zero this is a zero voltage and this is plus 40 volt peak so, and this is a sinusoidal waveform so it is gra gradually increases and it comes to the zero again and from the zero it will come to the minus 40 volt ac so this is the amplitude or ac signal and it generates 50 cycles per second because this frequency is 50 hertz 